Why? Because it has um, the, the abundance of seal brood and actually um, some larvae, some um, open brood inside here. Um, the only thing would be needed here well, would be actually more bees to actually maintain these, these brood. Because, um, you know, most of these bees you see here, actually, they are actually nurse bees. And they are here just to actually, um, just to kind of, you know, take, you know, take the, um, look after the younger ones in them. It is important that a queen exists in the hive for the continuous production of drones and hence the productiveness of the hive. She will lay up to 2,000 eggs per day. Without a queen, the hive would eventually die. The hive can be assisted by feeding supplemental pollen or honey to the bees. However, this may not be necessary where bees are suitably located. In an area like this where you have the vast vegetation, where you know something is always blooming, this is where you want to keep your apron where you can actually obtain maximum production from this apron or from your apron then. At some time, the beekeeper will need to put additional boxes of frames onto each colony to provide the bees with extra room as the population increases. This action, called supering, is done when the hive population is visibly high. A telltale sign is bared at the hive entrance. Mekla Myri, a member of the first batch of graduates of the course in beekeeping, explained some of the fundamental procedures she was taught to follow in her hive management practices. When you come to your hive, you would check to ensure that boxes that need to be supered, like this one, are, are supered, because if the box is, if there are too many bees in the box, you will have them swarming because they have nowhere to lay, they have nowhere to go. So you would ensure that boxes that, that need to be supered and extra hive, you put it on boxes that need frame, you put on frames. If there are frames that are damaged, the combs are black and they need to be changed. If the combs are too black and whatnot, the queen won't lay in it, so you'd have to change those out. So you would change those. You check the condition of your hive body, your bottom board, because if they are in too bad of a condition, say for example, this is the entrance of the hive and if the hive is up here, the board is gone, you can have stronger bees damaging the weaker boxes. Those people who we graduated recently, um, they have shown great potential. They, some of them have even started um, expanding from what they have gotten. Some of them have even um, extracted some honey from, um, from the, the bees that they received from us. And um, they accepted the, the training um, very well. And uh, we do know that there will, um, there will be great beekeepers in the future. Bees produce more honey when the blooms of flowering shrubs and trees flourish. From the blooms, they collect tiny drops of nectar, which are converted to honey by an enzyme process. The honey is stored in wax combs, which the bees also make themselves. The hive is ready to be reaped when the frames are filled with honey and completely capped. It is removed from the apiary to an area where it is extracted. The cap is removed and the liquid honey separated from the comb using centrifugal equipment called extractors. While there is good money to be earned from the sale of honey, there is a wide range of other products and byproducts to be derived, thereby increasing the scope of one's engagement in the industry as well as income generating opportunities. The average um, honey production for Jamaica is about 12 gallons per, per colony. And from the 12 gallons per colony, you, you maybe sell at um, $1,500 per, per gallon, right? So you're looking at um, a great, um, a vast amount of um, you know, revenue just from one colony alone. So we started out, say, a man with, say, 10 colony of bees. You're looking at 10 times the amount, 120 gallons of honey for the year, and not only honey, but um, so also you have um, the, the byproducts from, from the, the apiary also. You were talking about pollen, which you see there. Pollen is, is, a, is a very great demand right now. And, you know, we have been encouraging farmers to actually um, drop some pollen, but not everybody wants to take it up. But um, you can make a lot of money from, you can make more money from pollen than you make from honey. The products and byproducts linked to the beekeeping industry are numerous. Among them, food condiments such as sauces and wines. There's also the production of cosmetic products as well as decorative and aromatic candles.
As the government maps the route to the development of this agriculture subsector, the need for supportive infrastructure was recognized and a modern honey bopping plant was established in Linstead St. Catherine, where bee farmers are able to take their honey for processing and packaging. For more information or assistance on rearing bees, you can contact the Apiculture Unit at the Ministry of Agriculture, Bodles Research Station, Old Harbour P.O. St. Catherine. Telephone 985 2267 or email rwpeddy at moa.gov.jm. And this is where we'll have to close the pages of this edition of Jamaica Magazine. Check us out tomorrow for another exciting program. And remember, this and other programs can be viewed online at www.jis.gov.jm. While you're at it, give us your feedback at jamaicamagazine at jis.gov.jm. On behalf of the team here at the JIS, I am Alison Watson. Have a great evening. This has been a production of the Jamaica Information Service, the, the voice, voice of, of Jamaica. Jamaica.